Choo Choo and friends in the magical carpet. Chee Choo Cha! Look, Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chiku, and Chica are on their magical flying carpet. And they're off to the land of fairy tales. If you're ready for a fun ride, say, Chi Chu Cha! Chi Chu Cha! And today, the magical carpet has brought Chu Chu, Cha Cha, Chiku, and Chica to a beautiful palace. It's magically gone from day to night. Wow! I'm sure something exciting's gonna happen. The clock just struck 12. It's midnight. Look! Magic's worn off. Oh, what a mess. Hi, lady. I'm Choo Choo, and that's Cha Cha, Chiku, and Chica. We just saw some strange things happen, and we noticed they're making you a little worried. Is there anything we can do to help? Oh, you're sweet, Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chica, and Chiku. I'm Cinderella, actually. It's all my fault. My fairy godmother had warned me that the magic would wear off at midnight. But the prince and I were having such an interesting discussion that I forgot all about the time. Huh? <laughs> you look really baffled. Look, why don't we go sit there? And I'll tell you my story right from the beginning. That'll be great, Cinderella. Well, it all started a few years ago when I went to live with my cousins, Pearl and Ruby. And so began the story of Cinderella. A few years ago, Cinderella lost her parents, and she was sent to live with her cousins, Pearl and Ruby. As they were the only family she had, Cinderella thought she would get a lot of love and kindness from them. But oh, how wrong she was. What? Wasting your time on books again? Don't you know I have a royal ball to go to? Here, wash and iron this fast. You're right about Cinderella, Sister Pearl. She's a lazy, good-for-nothing girl. Put that book away and wash and iron our gowns! But Cousin Pearl and Cousin Ruby, wouldn't it be faster if each of you washed and ironed your own gowns? Uh, what? Wash our own clothes? Next, you'll suggest we clean our own rooms, cook our own food, and wash our own dishes, too? And just what are you here for? That's right. We have better things to do. Like, think about good clothes, and shoes, and attending royal balls. And you know what's going to happen at tonight's ball. The prince is going to select me to be his princess. Me to be his princess! Oh, I'd love to be there to watch that. You? At the royal ball? Why, you don't even have a gown or pretty shoes. Who's going to let you in looking like that? Get on with the washing, you dull bookworm! And that is how Cinderella's cousins bullied and taunted her all the time. Come, Sister Ruby. Let's practice being princesses. Get to tidy up our rooms. <laughs> scrub, scrub while we enjoy ourselves. <laughs> A 
As she watched her rude cousins leave, Cinderella made a little wish. I've never been to a palace or met a real prince. I wish I could go. But I guess you need fancy schmancy stuff to wear to meet a prince. And then something amazing happened. And that, my dear, is easily done. Here comes a fancy schmancy dress. Wow, I'm transformed. Who are you, lady? I'm your fairy godmother, Cinderella. I watch over you, and tonight, I'm going to make your wish come true. You're going to a real palace in style. And then Cinderella watched amazed as the fairy godmother performed her magic. She picked a pumpkin and turned it into a grand carriage. She then pointed her wand at two white mice that were scampering by. And lo and behold, they turned into two white horses. There, my dear. Now you're all ready to meet a prince. Oh, thank you so much for doing all this for me, fairy godmother. I'm so excited, but is it okay to go to the palace in my bare feet? The best for last, my dear. Off you go now. Glass slippers. These are beautiful. Thank you. And then Cinderella stepped into the carriage. But just before she left, her fairy godmother gave her some important advice. But there's one thing you must remember, dear. The magic will wear off at midnight. Your gown and your carriage and your horses will all turn into what they were before. But why is that, Godmother? Because, my dear, in life, magic and miracles can only take you so far. What really matters is the magic that you carry within you. So, remember, all this finery will disappear when the clock strikes 12. After that, it's all up to you. Don't be afraid to be who you really are. I will certainly remember that, dear fairy godmother. Meanwhile, at the royal ball, the prince was very bored. He hadn't met a single interesting person all evening. We've been practicing being princesses for a long time now. Yes, we'll make great princesses. Because we love sitting around all day and we hate hard work. Now, if you'll excuse me. <sighs> I wonder when I'll meet someone who thinks about the good of others. Someone whose heart glows with kindness. But that was soon about to change. Dear old man, that log looks heavy. Here, let me help you. Oh no, young lady. Please don't. Your shimmering gown will get soiled. Oh, it's okay. I'd rather have a soiled gown than a soiled conscience. I can't let you lift that all by yourself. Everyone turned to look at her. The prince, too. It was not so much the shimmery gown and the jewels that caught everyone's attention. It was the warmth of her smile and the glow of kindness that made Cinderella the most beautiful person in the room. Cinderella was so transformed that even her cousins didn't recognize her. Who's that? I don't know. 
but do you think we should go spill something on her clothes? <laughs> You love sitting around all day doing nothing? Quite the contrary, actually. I love to read and do stuff and think about how I can bring happiness to other people. I think I could learn a lot from you. Should we dance? So, that's what happened. The prince and I had so much to talk about that I forgot all about the time. I really would have loved to get to know him better and be his friend, but I don't know if that's even possible. Why don't you go back in there, Cinderella? I'm certain the prince, too, would like to be your friend. But can't you see? The magic's worn off. The gown, the jewels, they're all gone. I'm back to being my ordinary self. And I'm embarrassed to meet the prince like this. But Cinderella, think of what your fairy godmother told you. What matters is the magic you carry within you, not the gowns and jewels. That's right. Didn't your fairy godmother say that when all the magic fades, don't be afraid to be who you really are. You're lovely just the way you are. Go on, Cinderella, you can do this. Oh, thank you, kids, for your kind words. I feel confident now. Yes, maybe I should go back in there and face the prince exactly the way I am. Hello? Young lady, where did you go? Why did you leave so suddenly? Are you there? The young lady who was wearing these glass slippers. I don't even know your name. Are you there? Go on, Cinderella. The real magic is within you. Hello, Prince. My name's Cinderella. And this is the real me. What you saw earlier was just a magical appearance. Cinderella? The real you is even more interesting. I thought I'd never see you again. There's so much I want to talk to you about. Oh, that's wonderful. But first, let me introduce you to my special little friends. These are Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chiku, and Chika. And they are the ones who gave me the confidence to be who I really am. So pleased to meet you, Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chiku, and Chica. Welcome to the palace. Thank you, Prince. And that was the beginning of a long and meaningful friendship between the Prince and Cinderella. We've got to get going now. Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chiku, and Chica. I'm so grateful to you for making me believe that the real magic is within me. Thanks, my little friends. You're welcome. Goodbye, Cinderella. Goodbye, Goodbye Prince. Prince. Goodbye, kids. And so, Cinderella and the Prince work together for the good of the people, happily ever after. That was fun. Now, to our next adventure in Fairy Tale Land. If you want to go on another magical ride with Choo Choo and friends, say Chi Choo Cha. Chi Choo Cha.